Hey there, today I want to talk to you about one of the simplest ways to upgrade the audio in your camper, and that is of course swapping out the speakers. Today we're in my Grand Design 17 MKE. Like I'm sure many people do, I have my TV audio running through my Furion audio unit. I just ran a little audio cable from the TV up to the top of the cabinet and then back down and I have it plugged in. That way, when I'm playing TV, it's not using the horrible little TV speakers, but instead running through my ceiling speakers. The only problem is, is that the ceiling speakers are not much better. So today we're gonna upgrade them. Now, right off the bat, I wanna warn you, I already bought a pair of speakers from Best Buy that were supposed to fit, six and a half inch speaker, six and a half inch speaker replacement, and sure enough, they didn't fit. So there's a little uh, design to some of the speakers where they sort of bulge on the back of the speaker and they wouldn't fit in these holes. But I found a pair that works and I'll share with you what those are and then we'll get them installed. Here's our replacement speakers. It is the Sony XSR1646. They're rated at 540 watt max, way more than we would ever use. And then 50 watts RMS, also more than we'll ever really use. These are four-way speakers. The ones that are currently installed in the MKE are two-way paper cones, so hopefully we'll get a lot more range out of these. They also look pretty mean. We popped them out. They come with their own little speaker grills that we're gonna use to replace the white grills that are currently in the ceiling. And I forgot to mention, I found these actually at Walmart of all places for, uh, it was less than $50. I think it was like 45 bucks. If you compare them to our existing speaker, which by the way, I didn't crush that. That's just how it came. You'll see that uh, it's just far better made. So let's go swap them out. One thing I like about this is actually easier than working on cars, believe it or not. So to remove the grill, just grab it and then twist it to the left and it pops right off. Then grab a screwdriver and pull all, what is it, six, all six screws out. All right, support it with the other hand when the last screw comes out. And honestly, these speakers are so light, they can probably be supported by the, the wires themselves. But before you pull these out, you wanna make sure you take a look at which one is which. Now, a lot of them are gonna be marked, so you'll see one has a big black line down the side of it, that should be our negative, and the other one without the mark should be positive, but just double check on the speaker. There's gonna be a marking usually somewhere on the connector, and I'll show you close up here. You'll see that this in fact is positive and this is negative, so the one with the black line is negative. So just pop those off, they slide right off there. And if you grab your replacement speaker, you'll see in this case it's obvious yet again, we have this red wire here that's gonna be our positive and the other side is gonna be the negative. But before we connect this, let's push these cables up and just make sure this fits well. Just hold it up there, make sure it slides in and that it's flush with the ceiling. And you can even see if it lines up with some of your screw holes. Now the issue with doing that is that these are kind of directional, right? It says Sony on it. You kind of want to decide you want it this way, that way, that way, whatever the case is. So just go ahead and throw the grill on the speaker and then throw the speaker up and you can kind of see if any of the holes will line up. And in this case, they don't. So what I'm gonna do is uh, the screws that come with this are tapping. So I'm just gonna go in and just tap the four screws exactly where I want it. So that way, you know, it's not all catawampus and kind of weird looking. When you're ready, just grab your cables, hook up the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative. Now the negative is significantly thinner, but you should be able to get it to snap on. There we go, just like that. And now place it in and drive in your screws. And that's it. Those things are ready to rock. Now I would do like a sound test, but that never really translates to a YouTube video. So uh, suffice it to say, they sound better. They sound deeper. They sound like they have a little more range. And when this incredibly loud AC is running, it can actually compete. Many audiophiles will say that a speaker is only as good as what's driving it, which is absolutely true. And if I do decide to upgrade my Furion unit in the future, I will for sure have a video on it. Same goes for zone two or the outside speakers. They're gonna be different size and a much different upgrade. But if I decide to do that, you'll see it right here. If you liked this video, or if it helped you out, please be sure to scroll down and click that like button. Subscribe for more content like this. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go watch a movie.